What's going on YouTube? It's Giga here bringing you some more Series 11 Wi-Fi battles with live commentary. As we are hopping back into using two teams a day, we are starting out by using this really, really cool pocket team built by Chris Wrights. He is also the person that donated the give, uh, the Tapu Finis for the Shiny giveaway. So definitely make sure to check out my five rental teams video for the month and make sure to comment on this video for your chance to win free Tapus, always plugging. So talking a little bit about this team, like I said, it is a Palkia team using this really cool Assault Vest Palkia. I feel like I'm a personal fan of experimenting with other items on Palkia and this team really delivers that. Um, you have enormous, enormous bulk and this also gives you really, really good coverage that Palkia normally wouldn't have access to. So things like Thunderbolt and Earth Power on top of the standard set I think are going to be really huge. Next up, we do have Porygon 2. Porygon 2 has a Recover, Foul Play, Ice Beam, Trick Room. Pretty standard in terms of spread. I do like the, the movement back to uh, Foul Play as it really does give you a good answer into things like uh, Calyrex. And it also means that because it is very common now to max Porygon 2, getting those max darknesses off is going to be really huge as well as those max hailstorms or things like changing the weather. Moving on, uh, I definitely am a big fan of this. We have a Lumberry Landorus with Protect, Fly, Earthquake, and Sword Stance. I do think that this is a really interesting and greedy set, right? You are not only um, having a Lumberry to stop things like burn, but you also have Sword Stance, so you can really set up effectively with people that think, hey, let me just burn the Landorus turn one and cripple it. So overall, I think a really cool pick. Next up, we do have Grimmy. Grimmy is really standard. It's got Fake Out, Spirit Break, Light Screen, Reflect. Really not much to say here. Um, yeah, it sets up screens, it does its job, it has fake out for pressure. Uh, moving on, we got Celesteela. Celesteela has Leaf Seed, Flash Cannon, Air Slash, and Wide Guard. So this is going to be another uh, really cool offensive hitter. You do have Leaf Seed for recovery as well as leftovers, so once you get set up, you are just going to be gaining quite a bit of HP back every turn. Flash Cannon and Air Slash are really good coverage overall. And Wide Guard, I think, is an interesting pick. I know a lot of people have kind of uh, steered away from it. But being able to have a response at least for one turn against things like Kyogre or Calyrex is really huge. And finally, wrapping up the team, we have one of my personal favorites. We have uh, Thunderous with the Defiant ability and this time with the Life Orb. I know normally the item is Assault Vest, but that's on Palkia. Um, so this one has Protect, Fly, Wild Charge, Superpower. Not really much to say. It gets big, it hits really hard, and gets set up. So this is the team. I'm really excited to play some games with it. We do have the rental code on the screen as well as we will have the paste in the description. And with that, let's just get rocking and rolling and move into the first game. All right, battle number one, and it is Kyogre. It is going to be Kyogre with Moltres, Whimsicott, Charizard, Venusaur, and Thunderous. So dual weather is interesting here. Palkia actually fares very well into this team, as does Thunderous. Um, so I actually really like Thunderous this team is very special. Uh, Thunderous Palkia. I'm going to bring Grimmy. And then... I'm going to... Uh, Celesteel is wide guard. Porygon 2 is not really doing much. Let's go with Celesteel here. I think that these two will get the most amount of pressure. Right? We do have the Assault Fest, so that's going to be huge. Thunderous, obviously, being able to just go for immediate big damage is great. We should... Yeah, I'm looking at our spread. We can easily take a Vine Lash on Palkia, so we can scare off um, their Venusaur pretty easily, and I think that that's just uh, a really good position to be in, as it is going to be just Kyogre Moltres. So uh, that's a really good position for us, right? We we have access to a free Max Lightning onto either of these spots pretty safely. I yeah. I'm going to go for a Max Lightning here and go for a, I'm going to Spatial Rend here. I just want to get damage in. I, mm, there is an argument to have done that the other way, just because of the fact that um, Moltres does have such good special defense, but we are going to be faster with Thunderous. Unless what, you max, you, you could max and max Airstream. That's definitely a little bit scary. It, ha, I mean, it, it has really just been a while since I've used um, a lot of these Pokemon. As we're going to see just, okay, so Scarf Ogre. Thunderous is going to eat that, which is really good for us. This Max Lightning should KO the Kyogre as a result. Yeah, that's that's great. Bye-bye Restricted. We still have Full Health Palkia. Um, let's see. I'm guessing you might Nasty Plot. Nasty Plot is my best guess. 
but because of the fact that you didn't max and go for a max airstream we have just a free uh lightning into this subsequent oh oh okay okay huge oh yeah i i totally knew that that was gonna happen um big damage boom big damage not enough to trigger berserk this means that we have um the ability just to go for a max lightning onto Palky the subsequent or not Palky onto um you the subsequent turn this is going to be Wimmy okay so probably Tailwind I still would like to go for a max lightning here as well as go for spatial rend is 150 this is gonna oh yeah wait this should this should be in no because you're gonna max you're probably gonna max here or you're not you're not gonna max okay that's that's good for us um this should be a fiery wrath yep you're gonna ko that palky is gonna live as long as palky doesn't flinch we can take out the uh soul trace because we will have the huge amount of increase in damage survey says perfect boom great so that is uh another threat down and now it is wimmy versus with something in the back versus the world it could be venusaur so I'm going to bring out Celestila, just because of the fact that uh, Celestila... Okay, oh, ooh, ooh, mm. Charizard is fine. Charizard is fine. We have Thunderbolt. We also have Hydro Pump. I'm guessing you're going to want to... Um... Yeah, I mean, this isn't really going to matter. We can still go for it. Um, I think Thunderbolt is safer, just given the fact that... Um... There is the chance of Sunny Day. Sunny Day, yeah, we're gonna, uh, this is tricky. We are gonna see the max. I should have protected. No, because you already have the Tailwind up. So you're probably gonna Sunny Day. You should Sunny Day and go for, um, potentially a Wildfire. Wildfire into Steela is okay. Because that lets me bring out Grimmy. Um, yeah, we're gonna see the Sunny Day. So glad I went for Thunderbolt. I would love a para hint hint game para would be great because then we would uh we wouldn't actually have speed but we do have a chance of para yep so wildfire gonna come out into Steela. i'm guessing this is life orb right critical hit definitely mattered right um there is yep Steela was definitely gonna survive so let's see we are gonna see the life orb chip perfect so you are gonna also take solar power as well as it's good damage it's really good damage we are going to see, yep, solar power going to come out. We do take a little... Ugh. This is going to be close if we bring out Grim. I think, though, I think Grim setting up light screen should mean we can take another hit from... We should be able to live in Airstream if we set this up. Let's go for a light screen here and go for another Thunderbolt onto Charizard. This is going to be close uh what if we uh if we live that you could double up with wimmy if you double up with wimmy that's also really scary you could you know you could do that that makes a lot of sense you're trying to get me as low as possible um Wimmy, yep moonblast into palkia we should take that yeah i think given that that was a really good read on their part because now we are just super... We could actually... Actually, actually... They are super low, and they are taking a bunch of residual damage from both Life Orb and that. And you're probably going to target... Mm, I'm going to Spirit Break here for the special attack drop. And go for... I have nothing for... I'm going to click this. Mainly just because I feel like I have to get damage onto Wimmy more than anything. Um... We are going to see the straight moon blast come out into Palkio. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You target into Palkio. Um, I'm just trying to think. Yeah, there's no way. Uh, we don't take that wildfire. Yeah. I'm trying to think of what we could have done differently. Uh, the Tailwind made it so even if we had protected, we still would have been in a bad position. Steela. Steela, mm, I could have read Porygon 2 over Steela. I think that would have been uh, a potential option. But overall, I think that 
it was a really tough matchup, but I still think the team did a very good job, um, and it, it just sometimes is a little bit of a roulette. My opponent preserved their max very, very well, and yeah, very good first game, and let's just keep rocking and rolling and move to the next one. All right, battle number two, and it is Zacian. It is Charizard, Venusaur, uh, what, Kingdra with Torkoal, Zacian, and Thunderous. So seeing the Kingdra suggests to me that this is going to be support Thunderous, um, which is good because our Thunderous should be good into that. I like what Thunderous Grim with Lando. I think Lando is really big here in Palkia. Thunderous Grim. Yeah, let's do Thunderous Grim. I think that that makes the most sense. Uh, we do threaten the potential of trick eject button we yeah we're in a good spot um we do have really good damage into venusaur which is always really nice we will be able to outspeed up this one so that's that's also uh very good but they can set up vine lash if need be so let's let's kind of see there's there's a lot of stuff um but support thunderous like i said makes the most sense we are going to see zashi and venusaur uh, oh, that's a free, that's a free fake out air slash, or, uh, max airstream. Yeah, that's free fake out max airstream. Because, uh, you... Yeah, we do this. We go for a fake out. There is the fear of... The fear of swapping the Torkoal Sleep Powder the Thunderous and waste turns of my max. Do we have to worry about that? We definitely have to worry about that. But I think the risk is worth it. Yeah, I mean, you definitely don't stay in. A lot of people are not running uh, Grimmsnarl. Okay, so you're going to stay in, which is super, super good for us. Uh, if you are not, if you're not, what's it called? Focus Sash on Venusaur or Focus Sash or Cobra Berry. Even I don't think Cobra Berry will save you at this point. Um... If you're not, yeah, if you're not Cobra Berry, that's a free KO. Go for a helping hand. Go for a helping hand. Oh, I was like, helping hand, helping hand. Perfect. Uh, we're going to get the flinch on Azashian. Airstream, like I said, if you are not Cobra Berry, or Focus Sash, which I don't think you are. Is that no Focus Sash? That's huge. That's so huge. Oh, wow. I will take that that yes please huge damage we now are out we outspeed the zashian have access to a big uh what's it called max lightning especially uh given the fact that yeah we we are faster we can go for max lightning we can go for a uh an airstream or not an airstream a reflect i do expect like i said this thunders to be support so i'm gonna go for a max lightning here and i'm gonna go for a reflect you cannot taunt my grim snarl it could, I mean, it could be, it could just be offensive thunderous with prankster and rain dance, which isn't like unheard of. And honestly, now something I kind of want to try. We might do one more team this month. I kind of like that a lot. You do support thunderous, but it's just for rain dance because that gives you max airstream when you max. Um, yep, we're gonna see a rain dance here. So that probably suggests to me you have Kingdra in the back. But uh, we will get really, really big damage onto the Sashian, and we should now at this point be able to live a hit. Uh, yep, here comes Max Lightning. This should do over half. That is definitely over half. We'll take that. Great damage. And now what? Behemoth. It should be Behemoth Blade into Behemoth Blade into Thunderous. Oh, Play Rough. That's totally fine. I'll take a Play Rough any day. Uh, let's knuckle the Zashian and go for a Spirit Break onto Thunderous, just for a little bit of chip. We still have access to things in the back. Uh, knuckle Knuckle should KO. I'm. If it doesn't, I'm in very bad shape. Um, there's a very big argument that Knuckle is actually completely unnecessary. Please KO. Thank God. <laughs> I was like, oh no. Um, 
We are going to see their Thunders going for an attack. Probably a uh, Thunderbolt into my Thunder. It should be a Thunderbolt into my Thunderous. Uh, it is Crunch. Interesting. Um, so I think I was right about it being physical support Thunder. That was so much damage! What? Oh my god! Okay, um... We are at plus one. We might still out... No, we don't, because you can outspeed. Um, so we go for a wild charge here, and go for a light... I cannot get over how much damage that did. Um, but after light screen, we do have the ability to... We do have Palkia, so what I'm actually going to do is... Yeah, given how much that did to Thunderous, I think Grimmsnarl can clean up. So what I actually want to do is I want to bring out Lando. Uh, sack the Landorus to... Yeah, sack Landorus in order to Spirit Break onto the Kingdra. To guarantee that Palkia... I mean, it's going to be at... It's... I don't need to, because it's a ton of special defense... No, I still think it's a better play. Like I said, I do expect you to uh, target into Thunderous. I I, I do want to do it that way. Just because, like, Kingdra can... Like, Kingdra Max is scary. And you do have Stab super effective onto me. So, like I said, I do want to sacrifice... Um, I do want to want to sacrifice my uh, Landorus in order to kind of give myself the best chance. We are going to see a Max Geyser into Thunderous. Yep, makes sense. Uh, so, what? I'm actually fine to not care about Thunderous in this endgame, especially we know you're Prankster. So, let's get damage. Oh, wait, okay, wait, we have Protect on Landorus. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> that is so good. Yes, we're, okay, that's perfect. Yeah, that's how we're going to do this. Um, we're going to protect, we're going to protect Landorus to take your second turn of max, which is going to let us KO you the third turn, or not get, get KO'd the th third turn. So we're going to protect here and we are going to spirit break into Kingdra, which is, uh, great for us because we will drop the special attack. I don't think it's weakness policy, but either way, we're going to just get rid of its max. And then from there, we do have spatial rend into Kingdra. And that should uh, wrap up the game. And then we can just... <laughs> I cannot get over that that was not a crit onto Thunderous with Grim with no attack investment. Like, Grimstar is absurd. There's just no other way in my mind to put that. We are going to get the Protect up. This is also going to work to stall out the... Oh, Hailstorm. Hailstorm is fine. Yeah. Because we're going to live... Yep. We all we are important to note not seeing life orb. I don't think you should not be weakness policy. Oh, you doubled up Lando. Interesting choice, but <gasps> why is Grimstar doing this? This is not a crit. There was no attack investment. Is this team not EV trained? What is happening? Um, I'm gonna go for a fly. And I'm gonna spirit break here, I get, I, I'll spirit break thunder it, I don't. Oh yeah, you have rain dance. <laughs> That's, oh my god, I, Grimmsnarl, what are you doing? We're gonna see the geyser, this should be into, in a grim. So I made a bad choice in targeting, but it worked out. <laughs> so, yep, we're gonna go high up in the sky. Uh, here comes the spirit break. This will KO. This will KO. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I, I am not over how much damage this Grim Snarl is doing. Um, yeah, fly. I think between fly and the 100% guaranteed spirit break, we are going to take this one. So, um, 
Grimmsnarl is absurd. Okay, so this is actually a potential. No, it's fine. Yeah, you don't hit the confusion. We hit the fly. Yo, let Grimmsnarl get the KO. Dang it, Landorus. Okay, anyway, I am blown away. But still, overall, an incredible battle. And let's just keep rocking and rolling and play one more. All right, last battle of the day, and it is Calyrex Ice. Calyrex Ice or Shifu Regieleki with, uh, what's it called? A Tapu Fini, a Mimikyu, with a little hand movement, and Insin. So we, what? Gr I like Grimmsnarl a lot. I like Grimmsnarl, I like Porygon 2, I like Palkia, and I like Celesteela. Yeah, let's do this. I think setting up screens is going to be super important. We cannot deny their... We can... We can potentially deny their Trick Room. Um, we can reverse... We have the option of reversing Trick Room. We also do have Foul Play on Porygon. So, like, we do have options. As we are going to see... Mimikyu Aleki. Uh... I I kind of want to fake out. I kind of want to double up Aleki. I'm going to double it up. Okay, perfect. Uh, Trick Room is not a big deal. I'm sorry, you're so stupid. We do survive the play rough. That's huge because um, this means that we will be able to get off a uh, Reflect. Oh my god, why did you live? Uh, I would like to reflect here and then. I'm gonna ice beam here just because it, do it does give you a very free switch, but at the same time, it's fine. Yeah, we're gonna see if that makes sense. You want to KO Grimmsnarl, what that's going to let you do is that's going to let you Trick Room get a free switch into Calyrex. Um, oh, what? Okay, um, sure. This is a free switch in now for us into Celesteela. Um, this could be like Choice Scarf Calyrex. I know that people run it. I don't like it, but it's a thing. Uh, if that's the case... We do have Wide Guard, and I think Wide Guard is going to be really huge here. I, I do expect them to go for it, as we are going to see... Yep, we're going to see Ice Horse. So, I very much would like to Wide Guard with Celesteela. Yeah, I don't know why you wouldn't go for it. I guess you're trying to get me to set it up for you. Um, I'm going to Wide Guard, and... Uh, I am faster. Why don't I just double it up? I'm going to Flash Cannon and go for a Foul Play. We don't have a reason to reveal Wide Guard yet. As we are going to see the max. So, good thing we didn't go for it. Uh, what? It wouldn't have been a bad thing to max Steel up. You could, um, max guard. Shadow Sneak, okay. You are going to proc a policy. We are going to get... Oh, we get Foul Play into you. Big, that should... Sorry, I'm a little sniffly from the weather. Foul Play should do a significant... Oh my goodness. Uh, Flash Cannon might KO. Oh, so close. But you you have a single target into, I'm guessing, Steela. Yep, into Celesteela. Thanks for all you've done, Celesteela. You were great. We uh, still have to deal with Mimikyu. So I'm actually going to max Porygon. Yeah, I'm going to max Porygon. You are going to get a Chilling Nay boost. That's fine. Um, I, yeah, I think what we do is we bring out Palkia. Palkia has a guaranteed KO into Calyrex with something. We break the disguise on Mimikyu. We break the disguise on Mimikyu. We, yeah, so we, let's just Thunderbolt play it safe. 
we go for a foul play onto Mimikyu just to break the skies, and that'll let us max uh, Porygon 2 in this end game. I think, yeah, max guard is fine. We, in all honesty, probably could have doubled up Mimikyu. I don't necessarily think it's too much of an issue. Um, we are going to get the foul play off. This might actually be Trick Room. <laughs> Trick Room... Uh, Trick Room here would be scary. Which it looks like it is. Yeah, we are going to see the Trick Room. We... How do we do this? Let's Thunderbolt and let's max Darkness as well. Uh, I think, I think if we can, if you target into Palkia, you might actually target into Porygon, given the fact that, okay, so what? You should target into Porygon because of the fact that I foul play. Yeah, so... I need to live this hit, which I should. We are going to see the Hailstorm. This is definitely going into Porygon. Yep, we should take it because we maxed. Boom, love that. This is going to let us uh, get a max Darkness off into Calyrex, which is huge. And then uh, we're going to get the special defense drop onto the Mimikyu, which means that Thunderbolt should do enough damage hopefully for the knockout right because i we should yeah we we easily are going to take not easily but we should live a play rough as we are also just quote unquote faster thunderbolt oh palkia <laughs> and play rough into porygon okay so that's fine that's gonna that should wrap things up because at this point um we still have our max we have we know that we are going to be able to hit first and so we can um set up really effectively for that we do have another Max Darkness into the Mimikyu, as it is going to be Urshifu. So Urshifu suggests to me a... Um, let's Spatial Rend the Urshifu and go for a Max Darkness onto the Mimikyu. Sorry, I'm really sniffly. Uh, Sucker Punch, as long as we live, we live. Perfect. This is going to mean Max Darkness will KO um, the Mimikyu. And now with the Special Defense Drop, as long as we do have to still hit Spatial Rend... Um, like, it is possible to miss. I disagree with that, but it is what it is. Please show me the animation. Perfect. Yeah, this is going to definitely bring our Shifu down to a Sash, if it has one. And then uh, the Hail, yep, the Hail will be able to finish this off. So, overall, I think a really good set of games. I'm glad that we had a lot of flexibility in what the team did. We were able to, to bring a lot of different components and, and really show them off. And uh, it, it really worked out. So huge thanks to Chris for the team. We will be using it tomorrow. Definitely make sure to check it out if you're looking for a Palkia team that is <laughs> not mine. And until next time.